My name's uh, Luke, I'm the manager and chairman of Enfield United. Uh, this is Casey, another one of the managers here at Enfield United. A team's formed of mostly schoolmates, a um, few work colleagues, but we all went to the same school mostly. And um, yeah, we, we started in 2017, I think it was. We're here today for a cup final against Ivy Leaf. Uh, don't know too much about them, but um, we've tried to do a little bit of homework and choose the best side for that. We won our first trophy last year, um, but we've always got to the semi-final of this cup and never got quite to the final, but this year we did. As managers, do you ever feel like a bit of pressure as you're sort of steering the ship a bit, you're not on the pitch? There is always pressure, like when you're uh, selecting teams, you've got everyone in your ear, but sometimes you've just got to have the balls to pick who you, who you think is right and who's ready to play. Today the team picked itself for me. And I'm, I'm more than confident in the 16 that are out there to, yeah, I mean, to go and can, do the job. You can hear it in the background how it, you know, buzzing there are to get going today. Um, in terms of what we do, we try and set the standard in terms of expectations and things like that. Punctuality for us, hard work, um, attitude means the most to us. And then we've got every faith in, in, uh, in the ability of our players. What sort of football do you guys like to play? Like, are you passing team, pressing team? I think it varies. We, our home game uh, is on 3G, so a nice flat surface. We try and play a bit more football on there, but that requires a lot more running. Um, but on a pitch like today where it's grass and it's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, over the top areas, kind of runners off the defenders, uh, a little bit more like that. But one thing you will see in our style of play is just hard work, running, pressure, um, all of those kind of things really that help us get over the line today. When playing Sunday league football, if you, if you put a bit of pressure on uh, one of your opposing players, they will have a bad touch, they will make a mistake and that's what Sunday League is about and we're ready to pounce. So Max Harrowell, who uh, was our centre midfielder today starting, he uh, has a really bad virus, he's actually going to hospital today to try and sort it, so we've had to pull in uh, one of our other midfielders who's more than capable to do the job. We get goals all over the pitch, I know Ellis and Mark are nearing 20 goals already this season. Uh, we've got a strong back four, Kieran's back today, uh, who plays a very good standard of football. Jack's got over his injury, our other centre back. Um, and apart from that, it's all it's all systems go. It's, it's what we expected, bar Max probably for our squad. And we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. We're both ready. Nathan, Everett United's goalkeeper. So it's my first season at the club and it's been a bit of a rocky season, up and downs. We've won a lot of games that have been tough and we've struggled, but there's also been points drops, mainly in the league. The, the cup runs have been very good. They've been our main strong point this season. There's been a lot of games where we've had to go to penalties. The new system in place where there's no longer extra time. One in particular, I, I remember we had to go all the way. I had to take a penalty. I remember I, I scored that luckily and then their keeper missed, so we won that one, 11-10 or wherever it was. We even went into the 90th minute, 2-1 down, I think it was, and we scored a free kick in the last second of the game to take it to penalties. Do you have any sort of strategy when it comes to saving penalties? There's, there's To an extent, there is a bit of a strategy, but really, at the end of the day, luck does come into play when you're diving the right way or not diving the right way. I just try and be confident, don't change my mind, pick where I'm going to go and then commit to it. Obviously modern day football sees a lot of playing out of the back. Is that how you like to play or do you prefer the classic Sunday league sort of play at long? I think in this current team we're in, I know the manager likes to play out the back a lot. We are a good football inside. We like to play, keep it on the floor. Some of the Sunday league pitches obviously don't allow for that. But if we need to, we don't mind lumping it long either. We've got players up front, strikers, very good strikers that can hold the ball up. So if I have to go long, I will. I think I've got that in my locker anyway. And obviously as a goalkeeper you have a large influence on like game changing instincts. How do you feel about that pressure in such a big game? As yeah, it's definitely tough because as you already said, I'm one of the younger players on the team. So it is definitely a big role for me to play in goal because I feel like you've kind of got to lead the team from the back. I've said it before, all right, and I'll say it again because I'll stand by this. You do not know how many finals you'll ever get to play in again. This might be your last. You don't know that. All right, hopefully it's not, hopefully it's a team, we can have fucking many more. But you don't know if it's your last. And if you leave 20% on the pitch or something on the pitch where you think, I could have done that little bit more today, you, you're letting yourself down. All right, and you're gonna let the boys down. Today, I, I feel like a proper team. I feel like a professional team. We've got the bus down, we've got probably hundreds of people coming down to watch. We're at a proper stadium, decent change room, we've got cameras everywhere, all right? 
So the, the, the day is there for the taking. Everything is in place. All you need to do now is focus on your performance and get it right on the pitch. But today, fucking tough tackling, strong. Like, do you remember when we, we, we won our last cup? When we were being at AFC Rose, uh, Highgate? It was tough tackling. It was cleaning someone out, getting up, <coughs> slapping, like slapping your, your, your teammates. Oh, well done, that was quality. Back in. Right, that's what I need to see today. I can't see the Enfield United from the first year where we were you know, 18 year olds and just out of school and stuff like that. We have to be men today. We have to lead from the back, lead from the front. Everyone needs to be leaders. Don't, don't think silly. If you sit at the back and you're not sure and you look a bit uncomfortable, get it gone. All right? Their team, from what I can see, don't look athletic. But that doesn't mean they're not going to be physical. But now the last message from me is just imagine. Okay, just imagine what it'll be like in here. Imagine what it'll be like after when we go to King's Cross. And imagine yourself scoring a goal or getting a, a last-ditch tackle to save a goal. All right? and, and that should fill you with such encouragement and motivation to do well because we're all boys here and we've had such a journey. All right? And this could be our second trophy. You've got to be fucking up for it because you can hear them. They're going to be up for it. But we want this fucking more because I want it more, Luke wants it more, and we will fucking win this trophy. First tackles, everything. Everything today, boys. You leave it out there. All right? So, listen, I've told you this before in a final. You can play 90 minutes and do jack shit, or you can play 30 seconds and score the winner, and you're going to be the one that gets remembered. So if you're on the bench, I need 100%. All right? 100% from you when you go on that pitch. All right? Enough words from me. Come on, boys. Let's fucking do it. Let's go! 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 Let
that touch around the halfway to bring it out, I'm impressed. Get up, 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 get up,
Ellis, Chris Adulu, striker, Everfield United, uh, top goal scorer in the uh, league, I think, maybe. 19 in 23, um, decent game today, but a bit of a walk in the park, really. Um, top performance from the lads, everyone putting a shift today, so really happy with the four. And then we really pulled away to make it like 4 1 in the second half, so that, that was. Alright, <laughs> uh, so I'm here with Mark. Mark, run me for the game and uh, your goals. Uh, started off a bit slow, I think we. We didn't wake up really, but um, as the game went on, we, we grew into it and I always felt that, that we were the better side. I saw my goal, uh, I think Kieran's pinged it over and I've taken it in my stride and gone past someone and uh, keeper didn't come out, so I just slotted it. Um, second one, I can't remember the second one. Um, yeah, I think they stopped. I think they stopped and didn't pay onto the whistle. I've uh, carried on, ran through and goal and tucked it away. Yeah, that was two in it, but I should have about three or four to be fair, <laughs> if I'm being honest, but uh, I'll take the two. And you uh, announced this today's man and match, how does that feel for you? Do you know what, yeah? There were probably about like, four or five players that deserved it, yeah? Like, everyone played well. There wasn't like one outstanding player, like Gav was brilliant, Kieran was brilliant, Nathan Gold was brilliant, Jack and centre back. The whole team played well, like it wasn't just me, team effort, but thank you to everyone that voted for me. Uh, I'll let you go get celebrating. Cheers, team. thank you. Well played, Sabre. Thank you. Infield United, FC. Let me in, let me in. Right in the middle. Which one we looking at?